Fuck this movie. Fuck this movie. Holy shit. I cannot believe what I just got done watching. What's going on everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB and man. Oh man. I just got done watching Leprechaun Returns. This is I guess technically a 2018 film, although it only came out in digital and red box on demand. What the fuck? Apparently it's going to air on the sci-fi channel in 2019. So maybe technically it's a 2019 film. Who cares? This movie is directed by Steven Kostansky. I want to mention this fucker's name because he directed one of the worst steaming, stinking piles of dog shit I have ever seen. But let's be honest. This is the Leprechaun franchise. There hasn't been one good Leprechaun movie, in my opinion. A couple years ago, I watched and reviewed all of the movies and holy hell that was a chore this movie though it disregards all of the sequels which he did go to space but even more crazy he went to the hood twice but we're pretending that none of that happened and this is a direct sequel to the original movie oh joy because that's what's popular now for horror movies to do and so it's 25 years later and we see the daughter of jennifer aniston's character i don't even remember her character's name but the daughter now played by taylor spritler she shows back up to the same house from the original and she's trying to join the sorority who they're gonna fix up the house and for whatever reason and of course the leprechaun returns to kill these kids because who gives a shit who gives a fuck I I don't know why I did it I really don't it's one of those things where sure I knew it would suck sure I was not expecting for it to surprise me or wow me but for whatever reason either I do this to myself I want to punish myself for some reason or when I was made aware that this movie existed and I saw the trailer, I couldn't believe my eyes. I just, I had to see it for myself. And look, we don't have Warwick Davis back. He played the Leprechaun in I think six of the movies of the originals. The last Leprechaun movie was a remake made by WWE Studios and it had Hornswoggle as the leprechaun but that film was awful and what they did to the leprechaun making him a creature was dumb beyond dumb so this movie i can say is a step above that if that's a compliment because at least you have a leprechaun that i can recognize it is very true to the original movies it's not warwick davis who he said in an interview that he didn't do this movie because he has kids now Bullshit! You didn't do it because you knew this sucked and you figured, why bother? The new actor playing the Leprechaun is Lyndon Porco. Which, alright dude, sure. You did what you had to do. You did your job. You wore the costume. You had the makeup. You looked like the Leprechaun. So, I can't shit on you all that much. But our main cast... Let's talk about these sorority girls and these college guys who they, they go to this house because they're supposed to fix it up, right? But of course, no! They decide to drink and party instead. How typical! This is 2018 or 2019, depending on when you watch it. This is the level of teenage 
uh, writing that we're going to have with characters, a lot of them are your stereotypes and just nothing interesting at all. Our main character, like I said, Taylor, she... Her only thing is that she's the daughter of Jennifer Aniston's character. That's the only thing about her. Uh, they mention that Jennifer Aniston's character died from cancer, so there's nothing of her, obviously. You think Jennifer Aniston would be caught dead anywhere near this? I think not. She's doing just fine. So you have her who she keeps bringing up her dead mom, which is kind of weird because she's with people that she does not know her first time meeting them and all of these other girls for the most part are terrible there's one girl i didn't look up any of the actors's name because like who cares at the end of the day but the black girl if you see the movie you'll know who i'm talking about she's the only black person there she's good she's actually really good as far as acting goes her character is shit all they do is have her chase after this guy who's not good for her who treats her like crap who she always says i'm not gonna sleep with him i'm not gonna go back with him and then she ends up sleeping with him so great you made her look unlikable and weak but she she just portrayed being afraid better than anyone else our main character this taylor girl the moment when she first becomes face to face with the leprechaun the the fear or the lack of fear in her acting is so just terrible there's nothing there you could tell she sucks uh and and look i don't want to tear her apart either because hey this is probably her first movie look at where jeff Aniston has come from doing her first movie so maybe she thinks this is a step through the door it's not her fault the casting agent just casted her out of desperation uh y you have an unlikable girl who's a bitch so i wonder how she dies you have a bunch of these douchebag guys that you don't care about so you're just waiting to see them get killed one by one i will say that the deaths are bloody and brutal they're not scary because the leprechaun is so busy making jokes and i know that's his shtick but if the jokes aren't funny <laughs> then i'm just gonna sit there and roll my eyes because i'm not finding it scary and i'm not finding it funny so i'm just sitting there watching monotone straight face nothing at least freddy krueger scared me or he made me laugh <laughs> one or the other he did just that this this character just the character itself the whole leprechaun persona is dumb <laughs> there's nothing to it he's obsessed with the gold they have all of that going on i will say that it's interesting they brought back mark holden who was in the original movie as ozzy they brought him back as the same character doesn't get a whole lot to do in fact i'll just spoil he he looks into the well and then gunk shoots up into his face and mouth and, and because he swallowed some of this gunk the leprechaun appears in his stomach and bursts himself out of this guy's stomach killing him and i guess the leprechaun is reborn whoa whoa what that was right at the beginning of the movie so explain that shit from that point on i'm just like what is going on here script does anybody know what's going on and then you have him do all of his various and dumb stuff but our main character she ends up seeing mark ozzy she ends up seeing him throughout the movie but it's his ghost and at first you think are they trying to say that she has visions or that she's seeing things? But then there's one scene where she talks to the ghost and he communicates with her. He helps her to try to defeat the leprechaun. So the ghost of this guy is actually helping her. What the fuck? Either ghosts exist in this world now, randomly all of a sudden, or they're saying that she has powers to communicate with the dead because nobody else in the group was able to see this ghost this movie is terrible this movie is dumb at the end of the film when it came a point where you had the last three girls left i thought well at least they kept three of the girls alive nope 
they killed another one and it's just you throw your hands up when you think wow just when i tried to give them something i'm trying to find anything to latch on to and be positive about and then no the film fails and fails and fails and then it acts like it kills him at one point and then he just t uh, multiplies himself into little gremlins and and it's just what are his powers how does any of this work he kills a girl with sprinklers for god's sakes i hated this movie it's too bad i already did my worst horror films of the year because this would be whoo at like top three or four for sure but at least i'll just add it to my 2019 worst horror movies list because you know it's going to end up on that so guys i'm going to give this a great big old fuck you let me know in the comments below if you saw leprechaun returns as well my first question is why <laughs> Why did you torture yourself like I did? And two, just how much did you hate this movie? I'm sure it was as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.